So a lot of you guys have been asking about some of my home decor and the art and the paintings that I have on the wall. And so I thought it would be neat if I took you around the house and showed you maybe a few of my favorite pieces that I've collected over the years. This painting in particular was done by one of my dear friends, Kevin Llewellyn. He painted that portrait of my first cat, Ludwig, after he passed away. That was uh, years ago. And when my house burned down last year, it was one of the only paintings that really survived. And so I just felt like that was some kind of symbol. And when I bought this new house, I was like, what better centerpiece than to put my beloved Ludwig in the center of it all. This painting here, I actually did it. It's my first and only oil painting that I ever started and completed. My intention with it was to give it to my best friend as a gift. I just kept saying, wait, I just need to get it framed, I need to get it framed, and I've procrastinated for years now, and so uh, every time he comes over and hangs out, he's like, oh look, there's the painting I'll never get, and um, it'll probably end up just staying here till the end of time. <laughs> Camila Roca, she is an amazing artist. Um, I actually met her because she started tattooing at my shop. I was really excited when she gave me her first oil painting as like a thank you for uh, you know, having her join our tattoo family. And so I, I, I cherish this, this painting a lot. I remember the first time I saw this painting, I was just blown away by um, not just the subject matter because it is very beautiful and romantic and, and dark, but just the amount of detail that she's able to capture um, in, in such a small, tiny little piece, and so uh, this is definitely one of my favorites. I love Steve-O. Steve-O's been a friend of mine for a really long time, and I remember uh, years ago we were hanging out at his place, and he was like going through paperwork, and he found this, you know, beat up piece of paper, and he was like, oh wow, look, look what I wrote, you know, back, back in the day, I think he was in his late teens, early 20s, and uh, he had been waiting, uh, I think, in a, at a doctor's office, like lobby, waiting for his appointment, and there was a book called um, The Meaning of Life in Less Than 250 Words. So he, right then and there, decided to write his version of it. And when I read it, it just, uh, it blew my mind. I think it's one of the most profound things that, you know, anybody's ever written. And so I told him, if, if you ever give me a gift, um, or if you ever want to get rid of this, like, I'm the person to give it to. And uh, one day he gave it to me and I, I framed it. And this piece, to me, it's, it's not just art, it's just something really beautiful. And I'm gonna spare you, uh, me trying to read all of this to you, so if you press pause um, on this, you can read it yourself. Last but not least, um, this is probably my favorite painting that I have here uh, in my house. It's called uh, Lacrimosa, and it's painted by Kevin Llewellyn. This was, at the time, like the biggest painting he had ever done, and I remember for years I would go to his studio um, to hang out or, you know, to draw or paint with him, and um, I would always see it in the background, and, and I've watched it from the very beginning stages and watched it progress and turn into this amazing finale. And um, so I, this is the biggest wall in the house and I'm like, oh, it has to go there. All right, guys, thank you so much for letting me show you around the house and hopefully uh, my artwork uh, inspired you. And also I hope you guys, you know, find these artists um, on Twitter, on Instagram or wherever. Um, I love following them because it's like a daily dosage of inspiration and hopefully it does the same for you. So. Thank you. Bye.